hey y'all welcome back to another video um welcome or welcome back actually to another video if you're new here my name is jasmine and today is like a book vlog let's do a little book talk um i'm about to go pick up pooks which is connie if you don't know i call her pooks but about to go pick up pooks and go to Barnes and noble and probably get like something to eat as well because we're both freaking starving but hey welcome back to another vlog y'all i've been reading so many books lately and i just kind of wanted to take you guys with me um to barnes and noble today i'm going there for a specific book but let's just see i might come out with more than one of the things that i need but i i'm, I'm specifically going in there for um the housemaid is watching i do have it on the kindle app I don't have an actual Kindle, but I read the Kindle app on my phone. And so certain books are available on like the Kindle app, but in the housemaids, all the housemaids are, I've, all, I've only ever read them on the Kindle app. I read the first two last year and I think the third one just dropped maybe a few months ago or something. Anyways, I want the physical. I've just been a physical girly lately. I do like to go back and forth though, because sometimes when I'm at work, like I can't pull out a book or like if I'm sitting waiting on a flight or something it's just easier for me to whip my phone out and read on Kindle so I do like to do both I just finished The Silent Patient last night actually and during the time I read that book I mostly read it all physical but there were a few moments where I was like reading it on my phone because of whatever environment I was in so anyways I like having all the mediums to read for read through <laughs> audio kindle physical book um so anyways let's spend the day with me i guess technically this is a spend the day with me vlog and we're gonna go to barnes and noble get a little bit of breakfast or some type of food um and hang out with pooks for a couple of hours before it's time to get nova from school so i'm off today um so i'm just trying to seize the day i need to be sitting down editing a video but i'm gonna go to barnes and noble first we're gonna do that <laughs> and um just to get my day started nice it feels like fall outside i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a fit check later um because i think i just look so cute today i really just threw something on but it came together so cute it's giving like welcoming fall not the colors but like the style of clothing anyways and none of that really matters before we get into it though make sure you guys subscribe to the channel um give the video a thumbs up if you're happy to be here watching another video and this lighting is terrible so i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys when we get pooks made it to Barnes and noble i actually grabbed the wrong one you know we're just girls so we apply lip gloss before we go into any establishment before we pick up any camera. Actually, we do that shit every about five minutes. I should make a timer. <laughs> a lip gloss timer. See when you reapply? See how often you reapply it? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Papa just pulled up next to me, so I gotta wait for him to get out first. Papa is crazy. He look like a papa. He's somebody's papa for sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he is somebody's papa. He's somebody's granddaddy. No, he's this somebody's papa. Papa for sure. It ain't mm -hmm. papa. <laughs> That's somebody's papa. Somebody's grandpappy. The white people call it grand... What they, what, they, what they be using? Granddaddy. No, black people be saying granddaddy. Yeah, black people say granddaddy. They say papa. They say papa. P-A-W-P-A-W. <laughs> P -A -W -P -A -W. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or grandfather. Grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather, can you please? All right, let's go.
Okay, so I'm in a little bit of a season of wanting to just read like thriller, mystery, <laughs> thriller, mystery, like those kind of books, genre. So that's why I'm going to get the house. This is what I came here for, okay? But I'm also in like, does it count as two book clubs in here? It's probably just one now. Still two? Okay. Um, so I'm like two different book clubs, but we were thinking of reading Seven Days in June for our next book club read. Right now we're reading um, If He Had Been With Me and If Only I Had Told Her. It's like a two book series, um, which we're kind of dragging because I don't think any of us are really all that interested. I mean, it's good, but... We need something with a little more spice again. So, I don't know if this is spicy, but oh wait, smart, sexy. I absolutely loved it. I have no idea what this book is even about, but I keep seeing people talk about it. Everybody keeps saying it's so good. Though. Yeah, that it's so good. So, I'm not mad at also getting this too and letting this be our book club read, but we'll decide. That's what we're standing here deciding right now. So, I'm definitely going home with this and I'm starting it today. Today! We decided to eat Steak and Shake at 11.40 a.m. Fuck it. I know. Maybe I shouldn't tell them. We're here getting food. Our current book club read right now. So we're about to eat and read so we can hurry up and finish this book and get on to the next one for real. I've made it back home. And I literally, like, after we ate lunch, I ended up just going to Connie's house for maybe like an hour. And, um,. I just read a book. <laughs> Literally, all I've been doing with my time is reading. I need to be doing other stuff today, for real, like, realistically. But maybe the things I need to do tonight, I will handle. I mean, maybe the things I need to do, like, edit-wise, I will just handle them, like, this evening, maybe. I'll have, like, an evening work session. But, like, when I got to her house, all I had the capacity to do was to read the book that we're on. I'm trying to finish this gosh darn book. Like, there's nothing wrong with the book. Well, it's just not all that good to me. Like, it's cool. Basically, the, the second book that we're on, like, the first book kind of sucked based off the writing. Me, personally, I believe. It did make me cry at the end because of the storyline and, like, what happened. But throughout the book, I just was very bored with the book. And it didn't start getting interesting until, like, the last, um, like chunk of chapters that really wrapped the book up is basically started talking about what you wish the book talked about the whole time um and then now we're on book two and the second book is just like we already know what happened but now we're like hearing everybody's perspective and what has happened post the event that ended the first book so we're seeing how everybody feels about what's going on some of the main characters and stuff like that it's just kind of like I don't know I could have done without reading this book I'm close to DNF in it like very close to just not even finishing the book <laughs> and just saying whatever like let's move on and do and read something else but I have yet to DNF a book like there actually that's a lie I still haven't finished Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo shoot argue with somebody else not me I'm I just wasn't all that impressed with that book maybe I'll sit down and open it again but mm, I don't really know anyways I have about 30 minutes before it's time to walk and go get Nova so I think I'm about to just lay here um I feel like if I close my eyes I'm going to be more tired when I wake up so I don't really know what I'm about to do right now but maybe when Nova comes back I'll have her give you guys a little preview or a little look at some of the books that she's reading because reading and math are two the two subjects that they focus on the most at school but I also just have always read to Nova reading has always been um very important under our roof and even though I just really started reading over the past three years um you know, I, I always read to Nova, you know, and now she sees me reading so much. So she has started reading even more, even more than, you know, what she would usually do like on her own. So if I'm reading, she'll be more inquired and, and interested in like going to get her little chapter book and stuff like that. So anyway, so I'll see how she feels if she wants to show you guys what books she's currently reading right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just like lay down. I'm, gonna lay. I'm just going to sit here on this couch right here and enjoy some peace and quiet really quick before the, it's time to get the baby. So, yeah. Oh, 
got the baby from school, and she I is. Wanted you to make oh, you did wanted me to vlog today. She is getting, taking her like school clothes off and putting on some chill clothes. I am doing laundry, as you can see, and I just have a little bit to put away because I have been being a good adult and putting away the loads as they come out of the washing machine. I have fully been leveled up to adult mode. <laughs> I'm kidding. Laundry is just one of those things that I will let pile up, then I wash it, and then I won't put it away. And then I'll be living out of the basket. And the next thing you know, all of my clothes need to be washed again. It's just a bad cycle that I really need to get out of. <laughs> so I'm doing really well this cycle, this round of clothes. So I only have, I just put my jeans in the wash. I have like a pile of jeans that needed to be washed. I would usually wash those by themselves. And then I have like a little small load of whites right here that will go in the wash once those are done drying. Actually, I just put those in the wash. Once and then I'll wash the whites and then that'll officially be it. These are like my this is a weird pile. These are like the creams and grays that I don't really want to put with like the colors because I'm afraid that they'll mess up like khaki, cargo y type stuff. And sometimes I'll put my grays in there with it, but I don't know. That's just random. Sometimes I'll just put my grays on my darks, but whatever. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, this is not a lesson on how to wash your laundry, <laughs> but that's really all that's going on right now. So let's be good adults and put our laundry away for real hey girl how was school today you can tell them your bows are a little bit messed up how do you feel about mommy taking one of your bows today fine you okay yeah. with sharing yeah sharing is caring sharing is caring you want to show the vlog what books you're reading right now this, today is a book vlog for mommy so i took them to the bookstore and i've been telling them about all the books i've been reading but i know nova has a few books too right yes <laughs> it's so cute a single man morning it's the next day um it is like it's like 10 7 a.m ciao let me tell y'all something i woke up so late this morning literally woke up at 8 08 and we usually leave the house at 8 15 to walk to school and yeah i uh definitely overslept and now I'm getting ready. Well, we rushed and I managed to still get, you know, Nova to school on time. Thank God it's so close. We just hopped in the car and drove instead of walked. Um, but I came home. I had some coffee. I did some journaling. And now I'm getting dressed because today is grandparents day at Nova's school. Like have lunch with your grandparents or whatever. But, unfortunately, Nova's mom sucks and forgot to tell literally all of my parents that today was the day. And so, obviously, I told them super last minute and none of them are able to make it, which is no fault of theirs, obviously. But I now am going so that my baby don't feel left out, so my baby don't feel like nobody loves her because y'all know she's dramatic. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go up there. I'm sure lunch is probably like 30 minutes. They eat lunch at 1030. Mind you, these kids get out of school at 315. That is a really large gap. <laughs> um, I actually kind of want to change my Apple Watch band real quick. I usually wear this when I go to the gym. This like athletic one. I guess I'll put on a little one. It's literally right where the camera is right now. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. I am supposed to be going to the gym. I was supposed to go to the gym this morning and I just hate when I don't go to the gym early. And so 
Will I go today? I really don't know because I really have a lot of work to do. And I picked up a trip for tonight, a lean over for tonight. So I know for a fact I'm going to need to like go to sleep at some point. But that won't be like till much later. I don't have to leave the house till 8.15 tonight. So I'm just a little bit all over the place not really all over the place but i just don't have any direction for how today is going to go so once i leave this breakfast i'm not too sure like what i plan on doing with the rest of my day um if i plan oh i have been mixing these two for my scents lately and i love it together it, ta it tastes so good it smells good to me it's giving fall in my opinion these have been my go-to little mix lately but I also really want to go get there's a couple of perfumes on my docket that I want to go get to re-up my collection I have a very small repertoire of perfumes and I would love to like amp that up here in the next few months so that's my plan but um anyways I'm ready I'm gonna go and go to this baby school so that I can have lunch with her I'm sure she's going to be excited. I'll probably send her to ASP today just for the sake of me getting a little bit of extra rest, but also maximizing the rest of my day so I can do some actual things that are productive with myself. So I'm not going to bring the camera, obviously, to the school. So I'll see you guys once I leave lunch. I, I don't know. I'm just feeling like... I'm going to lay in the bed and I'm going to read and I'm going to probably go to sleep and I'm going to prepare mentally and emotionally for work today. <laughs> like, that's really how I'm feeling for real. Like, mm, I don't know. Like, there's stuff I could be doing, but I don't desire to do any of those things. That's my problem. Like, I could be sitting here right now with my laptop open, editing a video, doing what I need to be doing. But, like, I just want to go lay around. I'm going to put a scarf on my head. I'm probably going to wear my hair like this tonight for work. Because I don't really need to leave till like, 8.15. So, 8.15 is enough time for me to, like, get Nova settled, get her showered, fed. Enough time for me to cook dinner. Like, if I go to sleep, like, right now, I could wake up around 4 really even five, start dinner, walk to go get Nova, or I'll probably just drive today since she's going to ASP, get Nova. That way dinner is going to be basically ready. I'll, I, if anything, I should start dinner around 4.30. Dinner's going to be ready. And when I get her from ASP, we'll eat, shower, and then by that time, I mean... I'm only working a lean over, so it's not like I got to pack anything strenuous. It's not like I got to bring a whole bunch of stuff to work. So I think I'm going to DNF the freaking if only he had, if only I had told her. I'm just so bored with that book, y'all. Like, I'm just so bored. I, Finn's part was cool in the beginning, but like now we're getting into Jack talking and stuff. And it's just a drag and I just don't think I'm going to finish it. So um, I do want to start a house made just watching though today. So I think I'm about to go lay down, put, put a scarf on my head so I don't have to do my hair again later. I don't know. I might have to touch it up. We'll see. Put a scarf on, lay down, read my book, maybe until I fall asleep. Um, and that's what's about to happen right now. The meat is already thawed. So all I have to do, I'm making meat ground, uh, ground turkey meatballs today with like green beans. And I don't know what other side, maybe rice or mac and cheese. Nova's been wanting mac and cheese. So we usually don't do mac and cheese as a side for real. Cause it's just not, it's not like the healthiest side. So we typically don't do mac and cheese, but she's been asking. So, um, I got some and I'll probably make that with the meatballs and green beans today. We are a green bean eating family, okay? We eat green beans so much. But anyways, good morning. We are about to walk out of this house. It's time to go. I'm dressed and ready for work. Same hairstyle as yesterday. What? I'm gonna show everybody your outfit of the day. Cute. I'm gonna show them your clothes. Come here. 
should show them what your shirt says. My shirt says. Yeah, show them what your shirt says. Find your joy in every day. Yeah. That's what it says. I have bows. I've been wearing it every day. Made it safe and sound to work. Um, I, what time is it? It's 8.10, my sign-in is at 8.49. I stopped at Starbucks because, duh, like, I was gonna go to Dunkin, but the line was far too long. Um, so, Dunkin got this new little $6 meal deal, which is kinda clutch because Dunkin sandwiches are a little expensive now these days. They're like four dollars plus your drink and a hash brown for six. That's a that's a meal deal to me. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't tried it yet. I think you only get one type of sandwich on the meal deal, so I'm not too sure about that for real. But I got um, a little breakfast as well, a bagel and some egg bites. So I'll probably eat that. Mm. I'm not the most junior, so I'll be able to. We're on a 737-900 series, so I am going to be able to sit in the back. Um, I'm pretty sure the most senior person will want to be the galley. If not, then I will be the galley. <laughs> All I know is that I don't want to be in the front. So, so yeah, that's it. We are here. We made it safe and sound. We got time to get to our gate safe and sound and without rushing. I always park. The sheds only go to certain uh, t uh, concourses, and I always park at the CD shed because I just, it's just like easier. One, because I usually always stop at Starbucks inside the airport, but I've already got my Starbucks today, but I just like to park here mostly because when I am returning back and I'm like all getting off the shuttle to get to my car, I can get off at the first stop instead of having to ride the shuttle all the way around the parking lot and stopping at every shed. And it's just so much more convenient. If in my opinion so anyways it's going to be a great day and realistically I will probably not see you guys for the entirety of the day while I go to work so I'm one leg there one leg back and um, I think I land around like 645 so I'll see you guys when I'm done with my work day also I started a guitar a uh, court of Th thorns and roses it's pretty good so far I'm only about 40 minutes in like i'm in like chapter two so it's it's decent so far the story is building um so i'm ready to like deep dive in it and see like what the hype really is about everybody says how good they are so but i'm also it on chapter three of the housemate is watching i read that last night before bed i also have that on my kindle unlimited app on my phone so on breaks today and stuff i will be tuning into that book i didn't bring did I bring a physical book today? I think I brought, um, if only I had told her as a physical today, but I don't even know. I might DNF that book for real because I brought it just in case I want to pull it out and try to read it, but I really don't think I'll finish it. So anyways, here's to having a good day. I hope you guys have a good day too, and I'll see you guys when I'm off of work.